Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another squad builder. I know I'm bringing out quite a lot of squad builders recently, but this one is extra special because we have got a team of the season out of the uh, most consistent team of the season, Gold, that was released a couple of days ago. I think it was Friday that it was released. But I've got a squad builder with one of them in, and it is none other than team of the season, Funes Mori. Not the centre-back from Everton, the Monterey striker from the Mexican League, and I don't actually think... He gets used that, oh god, I don't actually think he gets used that much, mainly because he's in the Mexican League and people don't really like to go into the Mexican League, but you can pretty easily get him um, into a decent team, not by going into the Mexican League that much, but because he's from Argentina, you can get quite a lot of decent Argentinian players and link him out like that, which is what I've um, actually done with this team. So, we're going to put Funes Mori in first, just because he's the player that we've pretty much built this team around, and uh, we're going to build around him and work down to the uh, goalkeeper. So, we're going to get straight into the team though. And we are going to put in left wing in Tep from uh, Stade Rennes in Ligue 1, which is the French left winger. And we're going to put in right wing Sanchez. In form Sanchez, we've got here. Um, you can go for the normal Sanchez. I think he's uh, just as good. Although this card looks even better. I mean, high, high work rate. So he's going to be up and down the pitch. But 91 pace is going to help you out a lot. I mean, I know people complain when people like pace abuse on this game. But it works. And to be honest, if, you're gonna, if you want to win games and you want to do well... Pace is going to do you a lot of good. Same with Entep as well, 91 pace there. Um, Funes Mori doesn't have that much pace, but in game stats, he's got 99 heading. So we've got the two fast wingers just to bomb up the pitch. Um, Entep's work rates are high medium as well, so he's going to be up the pitch um, a lot as well. You can just whip it into Funes Mori and he will get his noggin on every single chance, and nine times out of ten, he'll put it in the back of the net. Uh, we did actually get two goals out of three, two game, two goals out of three games with um, Funes Mori. Uh, which doesn't sound amazing, but you see like people scoring like seven goals in like two games or something unreal, something unrealistic like that. Well, I think it actually looks better if they don't have as many goals, but they obviously have a decent amount of goals, but don't have as many goals because it shows that the, the rest of the team's putting the um, work in as well. I mean, as you can say, Sanchez hasn't done much, and Tep on the other side as well got two assists. So if you have like stats all around the rest of the team and the rest of the team's doing work, I think it looks a bit better. But uh, in the midfield, we have got Payet on the left centre mid, Schneiderlin on the right centre mid, and in Cam, we have got Lanzini, who gets the uh, link there with uh, Funes Mori. And Lanzini, to be honest, I know you've got all these players like Funes Mori, uh, the inform Sanchez. I would say he's probably been in the game so far. One of the best players on the pitch. I mean, four goals out of three games is absolutely ridiculous. Four star skill moves as well, so if you're a skiller, you will like this guy as well. And uh, 600 coins as well, so he's really, really cheap. And he's really, really good. And I, I think he's doing good for West Ham this season. So he might get an upgrade for FIFA 17. And if he does, and if he is a rare or something like that, then I'll definitely be picking this card up because he's absolutely ridiculous. So well, from what I've played with him so far, he's a really, really good card. Now, in the left-back position, we go Kazawa. Uh, really, really good left-back, in my opinion. I've played with him quite a few times, and he's probably my uh, one of my favourite left-backs in this game. And in right-back, we go a bit of an odd one. Um, as you can see, let's see there, Sanchez is a Uruguay right-winger. And I kind of wanted to go into the BPL, and I kind of wanted to get players like uh, Lanzini to get the um, Argentinian link up. And there was a few other players in the defence that I wanted to get in as well. And Varela was my only option. There wasn't any other Uruguayan right backs that seemed good enough. And uh, to be fair, for a bronze right back, I don't think he's he hasn't done anything stats wise. But 200 coins, I wasn't expecting much from him. His pace doesn't look good. His defending doesn't look great. Um, and I wasn't expecting much from him. But to be fair, he's done the job. He's done okay in right back. I haven't been like exploited massively down the left hand side in games he's actually managed to uh, hold his own and do pretty decent which was pretty surprising but it's good to see and uh, in defense though we go with Koscielny on the left center back getting the link up there with uh, Payet and Kazawa and in right center back we go with Small and obviously get the link up there with Schneider and, and Varela and in net we go with Petr Cech who is uh, probably one of the better keepers in the uh, in the BPL he does seem to look a bit dodgy sometimes, some of the saves he makes are a bit like, you're wondering whether he's just going to like fumble it in, but he does do okay to be fair, he doesn't do uh, too awfully, but uh, yeah, basically this is the team guys, uh, Funes Mori as well, a really, really good player, um, I think he, I picked him up for about, yeah, tw 29k, so he will probably drop in price to be fair, but that is what I picked him up for, so guys, hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have, then be sure to the like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe guys, and I'll see you guys. Things have dropped to the floor When your heart is heavy You can't take it anymore Did you
best to give it all that you could. I know it feels like you got less than you should, but I say, hey, babe, don't turn around and walk away, babe. 